Hey guys, Motocon out here, and today we got another Subaru, and I wanted to make a video on the Subaru engine knock. All right, these engines are known from piston slap too. Um, I don't have a video on that, but we're gonna try to try to uh, make you understand and differentiate what problem you may have um, with your Subaru. Now, a piston slap when you start the car up ice cold, you may hear a little bit of a soft knock. It may sound like a knock because the piston is slapping against the sides. It didn't expand yet and take up that slack so you don't hear it. That's why piston slap is usually when the engine is cold. You will you start it up, you hear a light, almost a little bit louder than a, than a valve tick. And faster, obviously, because the crank spins faster. And as the car, let's say like about one or two minutes after that, it'll start quieting down. An engine knock doesn't quiet down, okay? An engine knock is gonna, I'm gonna, sh sh I'm gonna let you hear what it sounds like and you're gonna know right away which one you have, okay? And again, with the piston slap, um, it's usually when it's ice cold. When it's warm, you won't hear it, unless it's worn so bad that it doesn't go away, but it's still gonna be louder when you first start the engine in the morning. And then let's say you have one that, that is worn a lot and you're not taking care of it, uh, it, you may hear a light, like especially on acceleration, and it could sound like detonation pinging from ignition, that type of deal in that category. But now I'm going to start this engine and, and, and let you hear what an engine knock, with an engine rod knock. Rod knock meaning that there's oil starvation somewhere, something failed, the oil pump, uh, uh, oil leak, owner didn't catch it in time, it ran low on oil. And the bearings are just metal to metal to metal to metal until it wears and makes a metal to metal so, uh, sound like this. Okay, so obviously that is not a piston slap. You can hear that another state away, let alone if you thought you might hear it. All right, that. If your car sounds like that, that's a rod knock. Okay, now I can talk again. That is a rod knock. That's an engine knock. All right, you're going to hear that sound in any engine when it has an engine knock. I have a video on what it sounds like. Well, that's what it sounds on any car, and that's what it sounds like on a Subaru. Same thing. But the reason why I made this is because these cars are also known for piston slap, which is, like I said, it's a lot different. It's a lot quieter, and it goes away, and it almost sounds like an engine ping. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta, you know, very, very, you know, and don't, don't forget, when the pistons are going back and forth, or you hear that little bit of rocking noise, all right? So that is not this. I just wanted to clear that up for people that may don't know what they have. Either way, sometimes the uh, piston slap, you bring it to Subaru, they're going to say it's normal. It's not normal because you think about when the car was brand new in the showroom, when they started up brand new car, is it going to make that sound? No. So it's not normal. You know, it, they say it's normal because they don't want to fix it. Or, you know, if it's, especially if it's under warranty. So it's only a matter of time. It's going to get worse. And you're going to have to replace the pistons and, the, and rebore the cylinder, get a new engine for the uh, piston slap. And in the case with this engine, which, which is um, a rod knock, same thing. I'm going to rebuild it. I'm going to take this engine out. I'm going, to, I'm going to take it all apart, see exactly what happened. Maybe we can replace the crank, fresh bearings, maybe the rod that, that's making that noise, and get it back on the road. Sometimes I don't like swapping engines. And if you look at this engine, this is um, junkyard, salvage yard numbers. So... They must have took an engine out originally of this car that was knocking, and then they put another one back in, and it's knocking. And, you know, instead of testing it, because they're, they're known for this problem. They're known for those two problems. So, so we're going to take it apart, and you want to watch that video, I'm going to be doing a video on that soon. All right, guys, Motor Car Nut, please subscribe, hit the like button. Any questions pertaining to the video, leave them below. I answer all my questions, try to help you guys out. And if you learned something today, I would appreciate a super thanks or supporting the channel to keep me going. And I love all the comments I'm getting, all the support. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And thank you for watching. All right, bye.